They will stay running here with our top two finishers here at the Bobby Doyle Summer Classic. We have Matt McDonald of the BAA, 23-28, uh, I believe, a course record. We'll find that out shortly. And Paul Hogan of the BAA, 23-41. Uh, uh, guys, a great race. Uh, it seems cool right now, but it actually wasn't out there, was it? You know, it, uh, it was a little humid. I'm not going to say it was hot, because, you know, we were watching the Olympics, and those guys look like they're really struggling with some heat, but it wasn't cool either. So, so guys, talk about this race. So, Paul, you were yeah. pushing the pace up front. I think you guys 433 at the first mile yeah. um, and battling pretty uh, hard down o Ocean Road. Um, what were you thinking at that point when yeah. you were running that hard? I honestly didn't think I was going that fast, like, in the, at, the, at mile one or mile two. Uh, yeah, I just went by feel and just, I didn't really know the course at all. I was just in, in for a surprise, so I just went for it and I met. Took, took the lead after like two, three, two miles or so, and like, yeah, I just kind of turned to 18 second place. I knew he was, he was, he was kind of gapping us a little bit, so just try to stay in second place because it's worth some points for the team. I'll make 433 look easy for that first mile. Yeah, yeah you did actually. I mean, you guys look very comfortable out there. So, man, you make the, uh, your break right on that long stretch there yeah, on Point uh, Judith Country Club, which is a slight incline. Yeah, exactly. So, we've been doing a lot of hill training getting ready for a fall marathon and uh, you know I feel strong over the hills right now and so when we, we reached that hill uh, I didn't feel like I pushed the pace at all but uh, I don't think I let the hill get to me so I didn't let off and uh, I ended up pulling away a little bit and then I had to do a lot of hard work to make sure that I kept these really fast guys behind me. So you had a pretty good lead going down the, the incline after that hill. Did you realize that you had a lead on them? Because I noticed you never looked back, you just kept pushing forward. Uh, yeah, you know, I didn't know how far ahead I, I was, and I don't want to look back because if, you know, if Paul's 20 meters behind me and he sees me look back, then he knows I'm hurting. So <laughs> yeah, you got to keep never, a, never a strong back. head on, <laughs> yeah. otherwise it shows your competitors that you're weak. But of course, Paul's a teammate, so he knows that I'm hurting. But. <laughs> And Paul, I saw you battling with uh, Louis Serafini. Yeah. It looks like in for second place, and it looked like at, at points you fell behind, but then you got right back up, and, and yeah. then you were able to take over. Yeah, I was just trying to stay with him, you know, like right, so right, stop the second place position. Uh, you know, me and him have been battling stop. back for, for a couple years now, so he's been winning some races. I've been some races, so yeah, it's, it's been good for a good battle, and yeah, it was good to battle again today. So, and, uh, we had a good race. Yeah, absolutely. And Matt, you said you're training for a full marathon Boston, right? Is it Boston? I don't think I'm supposed to say that, but okay. we're on the BAA people can put two and yeah. two together. Yeah. But I, you didn't hear that. Well, what kind of shape do you think you're in? I mean, obviously you're in good, great shape, 23, yeah. 28. Uh, what are you looking to do well, you now? Know, we've got several weeks still to go. Um, and I really want to get stronger over these next couple of weeks. We're running foul next weekend, uh, so this week will be a little easier, but after that I'm ready to hit the road and really put some mileage in and put those long workouts in that get you into fantastic marathon shape. Hey, and Paul, what do you got coming up? Are you, uh, you yeah. going to be running a marathon too? Yeah, yeah, it's safe. It's safe boat is uh, <laughs> yeah, so, uh, yeah, I'm yeah, we're going to be running some uh, uh, races in September, so yeah, we're just, we're just trying to really train through this race. Yeah, and talk about that, him and you guys, you're both like training partners and then being in a race together, that's got to help a lot. Oh, there's nothing like getting on the line of a race with your teammates. When you're out there alone and you don't know anybody, it can be kind of intimidating and terrifying, honestly, but if you know there's another guy that's done everything you've done and is there to work just as hard as you are, uh, you know, it makes you feel good about what you're doing. Did you guys talk at all while you're on that course? I couldn't, I couldn't really see. But. Uh, no, I didn't really talk. Yeah, you know, it's more conserve energy, just like, you know, just be in tune with your body. One of, one of my teammates talked, but it was just something funny. <laughs> yeah, just, we're just trying to have fun out there. Yeah, we've run talk. enough uh, miles together at this point that I think we can read each other. We yeah. don't have to say things out loud. Yeah, exactly. This is so, so coming into this race, any races in particular give you a good indication that you guys would be able to, you know, run fast today? Well, Paul, how long has it been since you've run a race? Uh, well, I ran, I ran the track uh, in like May. I did like some 5Ks. I think that really helped my speed. And, uh, yeah. I'm not really trying to get ready for 5K. I'm not walking around right now, but 
I just down. want to do it. Just well, your arms ready, you all right. Well, but I think we've been doing some workouts to help us get ready for a this race like this. Yeah, we've had some good workouts that indicate fitness, but we just haven't been racing much. COVID and it's the summer, usually it's a little down, the Olympics. All right, our next presentation. And Paul, I've had a chance to talk to you when you were a high school runner at Burlington. Um, and uh, I think 902, right? For your two mile best? I, I, outdoors I ran 901, indoors I ran 859. 859, but it seems once you hit UMass Low, it just took off from there. As far as yeah, yeah, Gary Gardner did a great job. Like, and he's doing a great job right now with the team and stuff. So, uh, you know, I think I, 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 I give a lot of, uh, you know, I give a lot of uh, strength to him. You know what I mean? When it comes to my success and everyone else's success. So, yeah, he's, he's awesome. So, and Matt, uh, graduate of Princeton, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Talk about, talk about yeah. running there. Uh, it was a lot of fun. And, you know, I, I was on the team with some really outstanding guys. Uh, Don Cabral from Connecticut. He was a senior my freshman year. And, you know, obviously he represented Team USA in several Olympic games and things like that. So just being surrounded by such talent like that really, it raised the bar for what I expected from myself. And now, you know, I, I think I have similar aspirations. Going on to, to our boys over guys over our all winner. Well, guys, um, great talking with you. And a fantastic yeah. job today. Good luck uh, in the marathon. Come full, but great job. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you very much.